Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm going to give you some hints about the grammatical rules for grade 12 for the first semester exam. In this session, we are going to talk about the future tenses. There is no future tense in English. How to express the future then? So, here we are going to talk about the different types of futures that for grade 12 advanced. There are several ways to express the future. First, with the model well. Second, with be going to. Third, with the present simple tense. Fourth, with the present continuous. Now let's start with well. How can we use well to express the future? We use the model well plus the infinitive form of the main verb for prediction. What do we mean by prediction? Prediction means that we are predicting something to happen in the future. But let me ask you something. Are we sure if we predict something, okay, it will happen in the future? For sure, no, because we are just predicting. So here we are going to use well for any prediction. We got an example here. You will get married and have 10 children. So this is a kind of prediction. What does it mean here? We are not sure if you are going to get married or not. We are not sure if you are going to have 10 children or not. So here we are just predicting. So you, we use well here. Before moving to the second point, okay, let me give you another example for prediction. If we are talking about the weather, anything about the weather, we are just predicting what the weather be like tomorrow, for example, okay? So if I say, it will rain tomorrow, it will be hot tomorrow. So here, we are not sure if we are talking about weather or weather forecast. So here, we are using well. Number two, for quick decision. What does it mean, quick decision? It means that a kind of decision that you take very quickly, okay, without any previous planning. For example, I'll have another cup of coffee, please. So, he took that decision just now, without any thinking, without any planning before. Another example for quick decision, if we are talking about, um, if your mobile is ringing, for example, you would say, I'll answer it. If there is somebody knocking on your door, you say, I'll open it. So you take just okay a decision now without any previous planning. You talk that decision very quickly. The third use of well is promise. So you can use well to give a promise. Okay. And as you know, sometimes we use the promise to talk about something that you just want to do in the future but you are not sure if you are going to do it or not so we got an example here I'll call you tomorrow so it means that you are not going okay you are not sure if you are going to call that guy or not so here we got some forms for well I well it can be abbreviated apostrophe double L you well the same abbreviation or she will okay we will call you you will okay call the will call so here the purpose of that well could be abbreviated to apostrophe double l especially if we are using informal language now let's move to be going to so we can express the future by using well, as we previously said, or by using be going to. What do we mean by be going to? It means 
m is r going to we use be going to plus the infinitive form of the mean verb for we got some uses for this let's start with the first use plans or intentions so, so if you got a plan for a future or what we call planned future you got to use here only be going to why because you are sure okay this is gonna to happen you talk already some plans okay so and you are going to achieve a kind of objective okay in the future based on your previous plans for example I've got the tickets I'm going to travel to Dubai so here what does it mean okay what does it mean I have got the tickets and I am going to travel to Dubai it means that okay you already planned for this and how could I know this was planned because you already got the tickets so here we got a previous plan as a result you are going to use be going to you can't use well here number two predictions based on clear signs here if you are talking about predictions but this prediction is based on some clear obvious signs at the present you can use be going to look at those clouds it's going to rain so here we got a sign what is the sign here using or seeing the clouds or the black clouds very low in the sky so you say it's going to rain why because we got some predictions and these predictions are based on signs which are very clear and obvious now so, so far, you got two uses for be going to. We can use it for plan the future or plans. And we can use it for predictions based on clear signs. Here we got different forms of going to. So, how can I use am, is, are going to? Here, I am going to. You are going to. He or she is going to we are going to you are going to they are going to and after be going to here you use the verb in the infinitive form so you are not going to add any endings to the verb after be going to We also can express the future by using the present simple tense. We use the present symbol when we talk about timetables. What does it mean timetables? If we got a timetable for the future, we use only here the present simple tense. Why? Because this time is already assigned previously and it's fixed like the timetable of the planes or the timetable of the train or the timetable of the bus or any timetable for the future although it is a future tense but when we talk about any timetable we use only the present simple tense we got an example here my train leaves in 15 minutes so here you can't say my train will leave in 15 minutes this is completely wrong so if you talk about a timetable in the future you use only the present simple tense if we have a kind of program this is the second use of the present symbol to express the future and we got the third use which is schedules so if you are talking about schedules okay you use also the present symbol tense we got a lot of examples for the schedule for example if we say schools start on 21st of september that's very right because here this kind of action is previously scheduled and had a time 
So, let's remi remind you of the present symbol form. The present symbol is to add S or ES to the pronouns, to the verb with the pronouns he, she, et, and the singular. But with I, you, we, they, and the plural, we use just the verb. Here we got some examples. I leave, you leave, he, she, at, leaves. We leave, you leave, they leave. We can also use the present continuous to express the future. We use the present continuous when we have plans. So here we are going to remember, okay, using be going to. So be going to and the present continuous have the same use to express the future. So if you are talking about the plans for the future, you can use the present continuous tense. And we got an example here. Sorry, I'm playing tennis on Monday, but I'm not doing anything on Tuesday. Or arrangement. You can use the present continuous to talk about arrangements in the future. Okay. And we got the form of the present continuous here. The form is using M is R plus the verb plus ING. We got some examples here. I am playing. You are playing. He or she is playing. We are playing. You are playing. They are playing. Remember, predictions and the quick decisions and the promises, what do we use to express them? Here we use well plus the infinitive. As you just knew, uh, we use well to express prediction as previously mentioned, if you're talking about the weather tomorrow, for example, you say, well, for example, it will rain. If you are taking quick decisions, you just use well plus the infinitive. Someone is knocking you on the door, I will open it. So you take this decision just now. If you are giving a promise, can you use well? Now, what do we use to express plans, intentions, predictions based on clear signs? Okay, can you guess this? Yes, we use be going to for plans, intentions, predictions based on the clear signs. We got a lot of examples before and I'm going to remind you of these examples. For example, if you are talking about plan the future, I've got the tickets. So here you say, I'm going to travel. You can't say, I will travel. It's very cloudy and you got a lot of dark clouds down the sky. It's going to rain. So here we got predictions based on clear signs. What do we use if we are talking about timetable or programs or schedules? We use the present symbol. The plane leaves at 8 o'clock tomorrow. So here we got a fixed timetable or program or schedule. What do we use if we are talking about plans or arrangements? We are using the present continuous tense. Here we got some practice. Choose the right way to express the future in the following situations. Situation 1. You are thirsty, aren't you? I get you a glass of water. Let's see the right answer. I will get you a glass of water. So this is a quick decision. If someone tells you he is thirsty, you just react with him saying, I will get you a glass of water. You take this decision just now. So it's called a quick decision. Situation number two. Oh no! He really painted the room that color. Can you guess the answer? It's 
is he really going to paint the room that color? Okay, so this is a kind of intention. Situation number three. Will not be back the fill at 10 p.m. The answer, we will not or we won't be back late. Promise, the film finishes at 10 p.m. So, this is a kind of program. The first sentence express a promise. We will not be back late. So, this is a kind of promise. And the second one express a program. Because the film finishes at 10 p.m. Situation number four. You should come. We have a barbecue this weekend. Can you guess the answer? We are having a barbecue this weekend. So here we got a plan or an arrangement. We use here the present continuous tense. Situation number five. You are not well. I call the doctor. Try to guess the form that you are going to express this sentence. Let's see the right answer now. I will call the doctor. So here, this is a quick decision. Because when you saw him not well, he just take a decision to call the doctor. Situation number six. In Scotland, a train tomorrow. In the south of England, it be sunny. Try to guess the answer. In Scotland, it will rain tomorrow. In the south of England, it will be sunny. So. We said before, if you are talking about the weather in general, you are just making a kind of prediction. So, for predictions, you use well plus the infinitive. And let's have a kind of difference between prediction and the prediction based on clear signs. If you are predicting generally, you just use well plus the infinitive. For example, you could say, it will rain tomorrow. But if you are predicting based on clear signs now, you use we going to. Oh, look at the sky. We got a lot of black clouds. So, it is going to rain. We are here predicting, but our prediction is based on clear signs now. Situation number seven. My favorite series is on TV every Thursday, every Tuesday. It starts at 7.30 p.m. I would like you to read this sentence again. My favorite series is on TV every Tuesday. It starts at 7.30 p.m. I would like you to just have a look at the time because it gives you a hint about the form of use that you are going to write your sentence using at. The answer is it starts at 7.30 p.m. So here we are talking about a kind of program. Situation 8. They visit some of their relatives in Wales this weekend. Again, they visit some of their relatives in Wales this weekend. The answer, they are visiting some of their relatives in Wales this weekend. Here we got a plan, because the plan for this in advance 
So we are using here the present continuous tense. If we are talking about plans for the future, we use the present continuous tense. They are visiting some of their relatives in Wales this weekend. Situation number nine, ketchup or mayonnaise, I'll have or um, I have mayonnaise please. Again, ketchup or mayonnaise, I have mayonnaise please. I would like you to just concentrate on the second part of the conversation. Okay? The answer is, I will have mayonnaise, please. Quick decision. When did he decide to, to do this or to have mayonnaise just now? The future, the future perfect, the future continuous, the future time for close. Now the future perfect continuous. Let's have a flash forward. Okay, imagine yourself this time next Saturday. It's afternoon. So what do you think I will be doing? I'll give you some time to think about it. So, this time at 17, next Saturday, I'll be studying for the exam. That's something in progress at some times in the future. It will have started before 17 and it will continue after this. Future perfect continuous. Well, plus B plus the verb plus I energy meaning the action and progressing a point in the future okay so at 9 tomorrow I'll be passing the test I'll be watching football this time on Sunday he won't be studying English this time tomorrow what will you be doing in three years time the future continuous it means that you are talking about an action which will be happening in a certain point in the future and we can express the future continuous by using well plus p plus verb plus ing i'll give you more examples for this if you are talking about what you will be doing tomorrow at this time i can say this time tomorrow I will be watching TV. So, when this time comes tomorrow, you will be in the middle of watching. You will have already started and you will continue watching it. But the action itself, I will be watching. It means at this time tomorrow you will be in the middle of doing this action. So, this is a previous summary for the future continuous. Now let's move to the future perfect. And I would like you to concentrate to know the difference between the future continuous and the future perfect. What will John's future be like? By the time John is 20, he will have planted, fertilized, and harvested a crop of cannabis. Before we move to the second sentence, I would like you to have a look at the form of the future perfect. We will say that it is formed by using well plus have plus the past participle of the verb. Two years later, the FBI will have arrested him, put him on trial and sent him to jail. We have here will have plus the post participle of the verb. So when he is 22, he will have been sent to the jail. Future perfect. The form is subject 
plus well plus have plus the past participle of the verb meaning what is the use or the meaning of the future perfect it means that completed action before a point in the future emphasis on the result itself so the difference here between the future continuous and the future perfect the future continuous it means that the action will be happening in a certain point in the future if i say i will be playing football at this time tomorrow it means when that time comes tomorrow i will be in the middle of playing but here the future perfect it means that the action will be completed before a certain point in the future for example if i say by this time tomorrow i will have played it means when this time comes tomorrow i will have finished okay playing okay so i would have already played by nine o'clock tomorrow i will have passed my test let's have some practice what is the meaning of these sentences when we get to the cinema the film will have started John won't have found anywhere to park. When you have finished this tomorrow afternoon, what will you have finished by the end of this year? We got some future time clauses. We will go out when he comes. So we have we have here after when, before, after, until, as soon as we use the present time. Even though we refer to the future, I'll give you an example for this. I will call you when I get home. So here we got two sentences. We got I will call you this future, and then we got when I get home, this present symbol. Although we are expressing a future ex action, but we can use the present symbol here. I'll be here until she arrives. As soon as my dad comes, we will start eating. Now let's talk about the affirmative and negative and how to form questions using the future forms. So the affirmative form will be plus the present or will have plus past participle Okay, this is the affirmative form. How can you use the negative? Well, not or won't. Plus be plus the present participle. Okay, verb plus ing. For example, I will be playing. This is an affirmative sentence. How can you change it into negative one? I won't be playing. You just add not to well. Okay. I'll be working all day. You won't be working on Saturday evening. The question you just move the modal verb at the beginning of the word. Well, subject plus be plus verb plus ing or the present participle. What will you be doing in 10 years time, I wonder? We use the future continuous, this is a kind of revision. We use the future continuous for an action in progress for a started time in the future. We talk about an action will definitely happen as a result of a routine. I'll be out at three o'clock, I'll be playing golf. This time next year, I will be studying English at university. I will be having a meeting with the school principal at 5 p.m. tomorrow. Now, this is a kind of exercise on the different forms of future. I would like you to concentrate on this exercise and try to give us the right answer.
Here, there is another kind of exercise on the future forms too. You are going to have a look at the choices and decide which answer is right. I can help you with the hints given in the sentence. For example, if you got the word here, I think. So here, it's clear. If you use I think, it means you are not sure. So it's known what you are going to use. Here, if we are talking about take care, okay, so something is going to happen. Here, you are going to use or to talk about actions which are about to happen. Okay, this sentence is very easy because we got he going to, he is going to, he was going to lend me the money. So we got only one right form in the three choices. Here we are talking okay, about plans. Okay. So if you are talking about plans here, okay, what you are going to use? He is driving very fast. He make, makes, is going to make an accident. Okay, so here you are talking about something which is based on a clear sign in the present. By five tomorrow. So here it's clear what you are going to use. Is it future continuous or future perfect? She will cock, will be cocking, will have been cocking a meal at 9.20. If you don't know any answers of this, just go back to the explanation of the different forms of the future tenses.